Today, we are going to be discussing a serpentine handled jar created by Damien Hernandez. This piece was created around 1660 to 1669 in the territory of New Spain. The inspiration for this jar comes from China and Europe. The reason China and Spain were able to have such big influences on the art in New Spain was because of the trade routes shown here. The trade routes ran from China and the Philippines to New Spain and also ran from Portugal and Spain into New Spain, which is now Mexico. These trade routes influenced art in New Spain for the better. The people of New Spain were able to transform these ideas into their own distinctive aesthetic, as shown here on this jar. Scholars believe that the H-E, or he, found at the bottom of this jar is attributed to Damien Hernandez himself. They believe that this was the mark of his work. Although Damien Hernandez was born in Spain, he trained in New Spain, and he enjoyed a successful career and was one of the founding members of the Potter's Guild. The Potter's Guild was located in La Puebla de Los Angeles, which became one of the most important centers for tin glaze earthenware, which was immensely popular and widely distributed throughout the Americas during this colonial period. Circling back to the trade routes, the reason La Puebla de Los Angeles was so important was because all of the trade routes from China and Spain led to La Puebla. The reason these trade routes are so crucial in art in La Puebla was because the pottery makers were able to use the influences from China and Europe to create their own unique versions of pottery. The first piece here comes from China. Here we can see the similarities in shape and size of both ceramic pots. Next, this jar comes from Spain. We can also see the similarities that the pottery has in New Spain compared to this one. The next three ceramic pieces all come from the New Spain territory. We can see the direct influence that the Chinese and Spanish pottery makers had on La Puebla while making their own pottery. Placing these pieces side by side, we can see that the Chinese piece on the left and this new Spain piece on the right are very similar in size, shape, and color schemes. As we take a closer look at Damien Hernandez's piece, we can see that the base coating is a white lead glaze that is then painted over with a colored blue glaze. This technique was established in Europe by Islamic craftsmen in Spain. This technique is also used for Italian, French, and Dutch ceramic pieces. In colonial Mexico, ceramics are distinguished from Spain by the original ways that Mexican potters absorbed artistic traditions from other cultures. Meaning, not only did Mexico create their own unique style of ceramic pottery, but they combined East and West cultures into one to create very unique and beautiful pieces. Here, we can see an example of how pottery makers of La Puebla were able to combine different cultures to create their own unique style. Here we can see two horses pulling a cart with a native person wearing a feathered hat and feathered pants holding the reins of the horse. This piece here featuring the dragon comes from China. The next piece comes from Spain and has an artistic depiction of nature. Here we can see the combination of both cultures coming together to create Damien Hernandez's piece. 